In this video today, I'm going to be testing out Serato 3.0 beta on a 2014 MacBook. So on here, the specs are Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.7. Uh, it's a 13 inch mid 2014 model. The processor is 2.6 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i5, eight gigabytes of RAM, and the storage on here is 128 gigabytes. So what we're gonna do today is test out the new Serato beta. So if we head over to the website to get the beta, we'll scroll all the way down to here and then click join the public beta, download the latest version of Serato. Beta two now is now available, but let's just double check the requirements for the beta. So you can see here, the requirements so to use the beta you're going to need a year 2017 or later obviously we've got the 2014 model so we're going to try anyway um, you'll need a dual core intel i5 macbook pro or apple silicon m1 we've got eight gigabytes of memory we've got 15 gigabytes of a local storage and we've got mac os 1015 with catalina so we should be good what we're going to do is download the latest version of the beta right cool the beta has now been installed so everything looks cool right now obviously you can see the new stems features here so what i'm going to do first before plugging in any equipment is just test out one of the tracks and try and remove some vocals and remove some instrumentals. So we have six tracks here. Let's just try this top one and let's play a track and see what happens. Oh, okay. Okay, everything seems fine there. Let's move this in so let's, we can hear some vocals and we can start taking out some vocals. Right, so we just got a pop-up here. Stems analysis is initializing. This can take some time. You can avoid a delay by activating analyze on song load, but this will increase computer load and may have a performance impact. Right, so obviously this MacBook isn't that powerful and it probably isn't powerful enough to run Serato stems. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze stems on song load. So if I click this, I can already hear my fan on my computer. So I don't know if you lot can hear this, but if you listen closely, the fans are already starting to fire up on my MacBook. So let's play this track again and let's just remove the vocals. So let's play this. Okay, so we was able to remove the vocals and everything seems fine. If you see in the top right hand corner, the CPU usage bar is near the end, but it seems final at the moment. So let's run this. Put the vocals back in. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the instrumental and just have the acapella playing. Everything seems fine at the moment. There's not too much lag going on. So let's put these instrumentals back in and let's try some of the effects down here. Everything seems fine. We can remove um, vocals and we can remove the instrumental. Let's try it with plugging in my decks down here. Right, so I've got the Rain 12s and the S9 mixer. So we're gonna plug only the S9 and the right deck because there's not enough ports on this MacBook. So if I take these off and let's plug in the S9. Let's plug this in here and let's plug in, oh, actually, I need to get this cable. So I've got all my stuff USB-C since the new MacBooks have come out. So I'm gonna need to plug this one in to connect to this laptop. So if I pick up this, oh, oh, and now plug this into here. So now what we're gonna do is power this on and power this on. Right, so the S9 is connected. And I think the decks are connected as well. So if you see here, it's, it's flashing. So I can either choose deck one or deck two. So this is gonna be deck two. So on the right hand side, and then the S9 is connected. So what we can do is let's load this track onto the right deck. And you can see here that the decks are actually working. So. Okay, so let's just test out running the right deck and let's take out some of the vocals and the melodies and stuff like that. Also, did you see there, some of the visuals disappeared, but right now my MacBook fan is going crazy. Let's try and take out some of the vocals. Everything's going quite fine at the moment. 
Things are a little bit laggy on the screen, as you can see now. Oh, and there goes the audio dropout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna have a look at audio. And you can see here that the buffer size is 10 milliseconds. We might have to increase that to 20 milliseconds to allow this to work properly. So if we move this up to 20 and press apply, and now let's go back here and let's run the track again. Okay, things are a little bit smoother. So me moving it to 20 milliseconds has improved it a little bit. So let's play around with it. Let's see if we can remove some instrumentals and just have the acapella playing. Things seem all right. I mean, things are a little bit laggy. I don't know if I'll be able to actually DJ with this in an actual club, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just do a mix and see if it works and just see how it goes. Right, so we've got Sexy Love on the left-hand side. Let's move that back to the start. Let's put everything back in and let's run this. And let me see if I can actually do a mix on this MacBook whilst the fans are going crazy. So if I move this over and click play. Right, so right now the screen's actually lagging. So if you, if you listen again to my MacBook fans, you can hear that the computer is going into overdrive running this. And also when I was playing, you could also see on the screen that things were starting to lag. So if I press play on the left hand side, when I move the um, tempo slider, it's a bit laggy, see that? So let's see if I can do a mix. Right, so I was able to actually do a mix, but as you can see on the screen, things are just moving a little bit laggy and you can see that the CPU in the top right hand corner is almost full. Me personally wouldn't be able to DJ with this uh, in a club because things are lagging and I just can't trust this. So if I play you the fans again, if you listen to this closely, you can hear that Serato is literally making this computer go into overdrive. <laughs> So that's Serato 3.0 on a MacBook 2014 with no recording software. You can hear all the audio dropouts and everything happening when Serato Stems is running. Right, so that was me testing out Serato Stems on a 2014 MacBook. What year MacBook do you have? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here to see how I organize my music in Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next one.